Looks like that magical time of year has rolled around once again. The holiday season, a time where not one family does the holidays the exact same way, and yet they celebrate a similar concept of love, joy, and hope. A true melting pot of traditions observed in the winter months. And if you're like me, you put your Christmas present under the tree a bit too early. I had a thief stop by. Caught him red-handed too. You know, looking back at that footage, I can't tell if that was the real Mothman or just some sort of Mothman enthusiast. Oh, wow. He's my neighbor, I know that much. I'm surprised he didn't take our tree topper. Aw, oh, wow. oh, wow. oh, you shouldn't have. No, really, you shouldn't have. It's just prolonging the inevitable. Oh, wow. Looks like we're just gonna have to improvise this year then. Which means you have to go away for a little while. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the impending apocalypse. Dark subject matter during the holidays, I know, but hey, I think we all know it's coming by this point. And that's got me thinking that it's never too early to start forging some post-apocalyptic currency. Today we will be crafting something super easy, cheap, but thoughtful for any Fallout fans you may know, Nuka-Cola bottle caps. Although if you're looking to travel down to New Vegas, you can use the same method to craft some Sunset Sarsaparilla caps. Or if you're looking to go up to Far Harbor, you can use the same method to make Vim soda caps. To start off, you'll need bottle caps. You can get these from almost any craft store, or you can ask your family to save some, or just buy a six pack and down it all before you start. Mix things up a little. You'll also need your template. If you search Nuka-Cola bottle cap online, you'll be able to find printable templates easy. Just be sure that when you print out your template that the cap will fit. Generally about one inch is the size you'll want for your printout. All you need now is a one inch hole punch, red acrylic paint, Mod Podge, and a paintbrush. And some of that holiday cheer. What you're going to want to do first is paint your bottle cap. I usually just paint the outside, but feel free to paint the whole thing. It's best to put two or three coats before adhering your templates. As a side note, if you don't want to use acrylic, you could probably do this with spray paint as well. This just happens to be less hazardous. While your caps are drying, you can cut out your templates. The hole punch isn't vital to the process, but provides a clean, easy cut and saves you time from fussing with scissors. The next step will be adhering your template to the cap. For this, you just put on a bit of Mod Podge, which acts not only as a glue, but as a sealant. Once dry, I like to take a little bit more paint and put it around the edges of the template, making more of a seamless transition from template to cap. And just when you think you're all finished, add another layer of Mod Podge on there, just in case. And there you have it, a simple handcrafted gift that's easy to make and affordable, also quick. If you want to add a little flair to it, go ahead and put a magnet on the back. Or if you need something to store them in, go ahead and craft yourself a nice little tin. Voila! Well, now that I have my gift done, it's time for me to hit the hay. Wouldn't you say? That rhymed. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh. Tree topper's gone. Well, at least he left one. Bones. <laughs> the low.
Oh, my head. Ah. Oh. Where? Where am I? <gasps> this is weird. This is way too familiar. No. No, this, this can't be right. Where am I? Who, who are you? No. No, come back! Why are you laughing? I don't like your laughing! No, 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 no. I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get home! Come back! No! Stop! Please! <laughs> Oh, shit.